We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system. Harvard scientists just made a shocking connection between a mysterious interstellar object racing through our solar system and the famous wow signal from 1977. The strongest evidence we've ever had for extraterrestrial communication? The object called 3i Atlas was detected at the exact same sky coordinates where that legendary radio signal originated 48 years ago. A radio telescope called the Big Ear detected a radio signal from somewhere in the vicinity of the constellation Sagittarius. But here's what's really got NASA staying quiet. This thing might be generating its own light. That would mean it's not just reflecting sunlight like every other space rock we've ever seen. It could be 33 billion tons of something we've never encountered before. And Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb believes the chances of this cosmic alignment being random are less than 0.6%. The timing is almost too perfect. Right now as we speak, this object is making its closest approach to Mars, coming within just 18 million miles of the red planet. That's gonna be barely inside the orbit of Mars, and then it's gonna keep going on its way out of the solar system. Some of the smartest people on the planet think we might be witnessing the most significant discovery in human history. If you're fascinated by space mysteries that could change everything we know about our place in the universe, hit that subscribe button, because we're about to investigate the most controversial space discovery of 2025. Let me tell you why this discovery is sending shockwaves through the scientific community. 3i Atlas, and what was special about it, first of all, the brightness was so large that it had to have a diameter of 20 kilometers. We've only detected three interstellar objects in human history. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, a long, narrow mystery that accelerated as it left our solar system without showing any signs of being a comet. Scientists are still arguing about what that thing actually was. The second was 2i Borisov in 2019, which looked and acted like a normal comet from another star system. Nothing too crazy there, but 3i Atlas is completely different. This object was first spotted on July 1, 2025 by the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in Chile. On the 1st of July, NASA detected a mysterious object speeding toward Earth, and some actual bona fide experts Think it might not be your typical space rock or maybe any kind of rock. The moment astronomers calculated its trajectory, they knew they were looking at something extraordinary. This thing is traveling on what scientists call a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it's moving way too fast for our sun's gravity to capture it. It's just passing through. However, the path it's taking through our solar system is raising some serious eyebrows. Here's what makes this trajectory so suspicious. 3i Atlas is going to make remarkably close approaches to multiple planets. It's passing within 18 million miles of Mars on October 3rd. Then it swings by Venus at about 60 million miles. After that, it heads back out toward Jupiter, coming within 33 million miles of the gas giant. The mathematical probability of a random interstellar object making such precise planetary encounters? Harvard's calculations put it at roughly 1 in 20,000. That's not just unlikely, that's astronomically suspicious. But wait, it gets stranger. The connection to the wow signal is what's really got scientists scratching their heads. On August 15th, 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio detected the strongest extraterrestrial signal candidate in history. The signal lasted 72 seconds and was so powerful that astronomer Jerry Amon wrote, wow in the margins of the computer printout. For 48 years, scientists have debated what caused that signal. Now Avi Loeb has made a startling discovery. On August 12, 1977, just three days before the WOW signal, 3i Atlas was positioned at sky coordinates of right ascension, 19 hours 40 minutes, and declination minus 19 degrees. The WOW signal originated from right ascension, 19 hours 25 minutes, and declination minus 27 degrees. That's a separation of approximately 4 degrees in one direction and 8 degrees in another. The chance of two random directions in the sky being aligned to that level? About 0.6%. A.V. Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist who previously suggested Oumuamua might be alien technology, believes this cosmic coincidence might not be a coincidence at all. 
Yet here's where the story takes an even more dramatic turn. New analysis from the Hubble Space Telescope has revealed something that's completely upending our understanding of what we're looking at. The brightness pattern of 3I Atlas has an unusually steep profile, much steeper than what we see in normal solar system comets. This brightness signature is consistent with something that's producing its own light rather than just reflecting sunlight from our sun. Think about the implications of this for a moment. If 3I Atlas is actually self-luminous, then it could be dramatically smaller than we initially calculated. We're talking about the difference between a 12-mile massive object and something potentially just hundreds of yards across. Here's why the size difference matters so much. The statistical probability of finding a genuine 12-mile interstellar asteroid is virtually zero. Loeb's calculations show that the limited reservoir of rocky material drifting between the stars could only deliver such a massive object to our solar system, perhaps once every 10,000 years or longer. The universe simply doesn't have enough large rocks floating around in interstellar space to make frequent visits plausible. However, a smaller self-illuminating object changes everything about the probability calculations and opens up possibilities that are frankly mind-bending. So what could cause an object to generate its own light? There are several possibilities, and not all of them are natural. Radioactive decay from heavy elements could produce a glow, though finding enough radioactive material in interstellar space would be extremely unlikely. Thermal emission from internal heat sources is another option, but that would require the object to maintain temperatures well above what we'd expect from solar heating alone. Or, and this is where things get really intriguing, we could be looking at artificial illumination from some kind of technology. The spectroscopic observations from Gemini South and the NASA Infrared Telescope Facility have revealed strong water ice signatures mixed with carbonaceous minerals and silicates. The water ice shows characteristics suggesting it could be chemically pristine, lacking the heavy isotopic signatures we typically see in solar system comets. This water could have formed billions of years ago in a completely different stellar environment, giving us a direct window into how planetary systems form elsewhere in the galaxy. But even this cometary evidence doesn't settle the debate. In fact, it might support the artificial hypothesis in an unexpected way. If 3I Atlas is indeed some kind of probe or spacecraft, the dust and ice we're observing could simply be accumulated material from its long journey through interstellar space. Cosmic debris that's built up on its surface over millions or billions of years of travel. Now here's where NASA's silence becomes really telling. The space agency has been remarkably quiet about the more controversial aspects of this discovery. While they've acknowledged that 3I Atlas is an interstellar object, they haven't addressed the statistical anomalies in its trajectory or the self-illumination hypothesis. This isn't necessarily a cover-up. NASA has a reputation to maintain, and making bold claims about potential alien technology without absolute proof could damage their credibility. But their cautious approach is leaving a lot of important questions unanswered. Meanwhile, independent researchers like Avi Loeb are pushing the boundaries of what we're willing to consider. Loeb has calculated that if 3I Atlas were generating its own light through some kind of nuclear process, it would need to produce roughly 10 gigawatts of power, equivalent to several large power plants. Maintaining that kind of energy output over the millions of years of interstellar travel would require either an enormous fuel supply or technology far beyond our current understanding. Yet the evidence keeps piling up. 3I Atlas is also anomalously massive. New research suggests this object must be bigger than 33 billion tons and its diameter larger than 3 miles. This makes it 3 to 5 orders of magnitude more massive than either Umamua or 2I Borisov. Given the limited reservoir of heavy elements in interstellar space, we should have discovered around 100,000 interstellar objects on the smaller scale before finding something like 3I Atlas. Yet we've only detected two previously. The timing of this discovery is also remarkable. 3I Atlas crossed the outer boundary of our solar system about 8,000 years ago, right when humanity was entering a phase of rapid development. Early civilizations were emerging, writing systems were being developed, and large settlements were forming. Perhaps as Loeb speculates, these events became the tipping point that drew the attention of someone from far, far away. But here's what's really got scientists on edge. There's a darker possibility that we need to consider. 
The dark forest hypothesis suggests that intelligent civilizations exist throughout the universe, but most of them are forced to hide. They strive to conceal their presence out of fear of detection by more powerful and hostile lifeforms, ones that destroy anyone they perceive as a potential threat. If 3i Atlas really is a spacecraft of extraterrestrial origin, it's logical to assume that its creators are far more technologically advanced than we are. At the very least, they're, they're capable of interstellar travel. And that implies not only advanced propulsion systems, but also potential weapons at a level we've only imagined in science fiction movies. The next few months represent a critical observation window. As 3i Atlas approaches the sun, we should start seeing those telltale gas emissions, if it's truly a comet. The James Webb Space Telescope has this object in its sights, and its infrared capabilities could reveal extraordinary details about its temperature profile and energy output. There's also an exciting possibility involving Mars-based observations. When 3i Atlas passes close to Mars in early October, there's talk of using the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to capture high-resolution images. This could give us our best close-up look at an interstellar object's surface and potentially resolve the question of whether we're seeing reflected sunlight or self-generated illumination. However, there's something else that's deeply concerning about this whole situation. 3i Atlas was actually first detected by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite on May 7, 2025, nearly two months before its official discovery. At that time, the object was still way out beyond Jupiter's orbit, but it was already showing unusual brightness and getting brighter every day. This early activity is completely abnormal for comets. Typically, comets don't start showing significant activity until they pass through Jupiter's orbit and begin approaching the asteroid belt. But 3i Atlas was already super bright and getting brighter when it was still on the other side of Jupiter. That suggests this object is fundamentally different from anything we've seen before. The scientific community remains divided. The majority of astronomers studying 3i Atlas believe it's a natural interstellar comet, and they have good reasons for this position. The dust production rate they've measured falls within expected ranges for comet activity. The ejection velocities also match what we see in normal comets, but the anomalies are impossible to ignore. The perfect trajectory, the suspicious timing, the self-illumination, the massive size, the early activity, the wow signal connection. Each piece of evidence by itself might be explainable, but when you put them all together, the picture becomes profoundly troubling. Whether 3i Atlas turns out to be a natural wonder or something far more extraordinary, evidence of artificial technology, this visitor is reminding us that the cosmos still holds secrets that could change everything we think we know about our place in the galaxy. The universe is vast, full of mysteries, and 3i Atlas is proving that we're only beginning to understand what's possible out there. But here's what I find most fascinating about this entire situation. We're witnessing real-time science at its most exciting, with fundamental questions about the nature of this object still hanging in the balance. October's close approach to Mars, the hidden perihelion passage, and December's Earth flyby will provide remarkable opportunities to solve this cosmic puzzle. With each observation, we're getting closer to answering not just what 3i Atlas is, but what it means for our understanding of intelligence and technology in the universe. The truth about 3i Atlas is still out there, racing through our solar system at 130,000 miles per hour. And in just a few months, we might finally have our answer. If this cosmic mystery has you as captivated as it has me, smash that like button, subscribe for more space discoveries that challenge everything we thought we knew, and drop a comment below with your theory about what 3i Atlas really is. Share this video with someone who loves space mysteries. They'll thank you for it.